Hi there, this is Marlena, and on today's episode, we are going to talk about bringing some balance into our lives. Now, as you can see on the screen, we have a beautiful green plant, and we're looking out a large window and what do we see we see a beautiful city and water and bridges and roads and buildings and the sky and the clouds how awesome to breathe that all in today i myself have just manifested a two um night free stay at a luxury spa hotel um with room service and, you know, all the amenities. So I want you to be able to focus on manifesting, all right? And that's what this is all about today, manifesting a balance into your life. And I want to share with you what is on the screen here. As we see um, in the feng shui perspective, energy. Okay, feng shui is air and water, and we have to have air, oxygen, right, for life, and water to sustain us. It helps us to thrive on every level. So without air and water, the earth would not even be here. Uh, plants would not be here. We could not be here. So with feng shui we have to have air which is chi um positive chi flowing in our lives negative chi um will manifest in your life in negative ways of course so things will be out of sync and out of flow so today we want to bring in that balance for you as it is in the earth right now we see um, a lot of things are, you know, out of balance, of course, and that is showing in everyday life as we see it right now. But it will come back into balance in a new way. So stay tuned right here. You can take some notes, watch the video again, because it has a lot of information for you. Look at the screen out the window with me and, um, you know, Take a few moments and just think about you being inside a beautiful luxury hotel room and you're looking out the window at the world outside and what you see. And this, the um, first thing that we're going to look at is the sky, the sky and the clouds, right? And the sky is a lot of water, of course but the energy is of air, okay? We can't really see air, but we can say there's a breeze by feeling it or seeing like something move, um, like a flag when the wind is blowing. So that is air, and air is in constant movement, as with um, water as well, constant movement. Um, energy is in constant movement, it shifts from moment to moment. So your energy is shifting right now, all right? No matter what you're doing, your energy is constantly shifting, all right? And we wanna shift your energy to the highest vibration possible throughout each day, okay? So you may start out with a low vibration because you just woke up, and as your day goes on, you can put a spring in your step and joy in your heart and raise your vibration rather quickly. So with the air that we see on the screen, we then see the water, okay? So we have air and water, and the water is flowing underneath a bridge. The bridge is in constant motion with traffic, right? So that's action. The bridge is bringing in a chi that is flowing freely, okay? So it's open um, to freely go on the bridge and drive in either direction, going somewhere, okay, to a positive um, destination, right? 
So you're positive that you're getting on the bridge and you're going there um, in a positive manner, right? And so we see air, water, right? And some fire, all right? So that is fire energy. When you're moving on a bridge, we are bringing in positive chi of fire, okay? Then you'll see the metal buildings, okay? The metal buildings are there. They're structures, right? They're strong. They're sturdy. And they are in the earth, right? Yes, in the ground. And the plant that we see is earth. So all the feng shui elements are in this video for you. Okay, so earth, what does earth need? Earth needs air, oxygen, right? And water, just like us. Isn't that amazing? The metal needs what? Air and earth. Okay, so here we go. So when you have metal and you melt it down, you get ashes. You will get earth. Okay, so the metal will flow in the earth, right? The earth needs oxygen, okay, and water to thrive, just like you and I, all right? So, what we're going to add into our life today is the five elements, and we're going to balance them out. So, what in your life, okay, is out of balance? What does it need? That's the question today, all right? So, in your life, okay, do you have earth? Okay, greens and tans and plants and soil. Okay, if not, it's time to add that element in. All right, bring in a plant, bring in a tree, right? It's um, December now, so real Christmas trees, um, pine cones, you know, bring in some earth. All right, pine cones, they have the cinnamon ones. They smell really, really delicious to me. And I have a bag of them sitting right on the side of my front door. So when you enter in, what do you smell? The smell of pine cones, fresh earth. Okay. And then you turn to the right and there's these beautiful lush green plants going up the stairs into the kitchen. Okay. But we also have metal bells. So I brought in the metal um, vibration here. Okay. White is metal silver is metal gold is metal right coins um you know metal bells and wind chimes um you know anything like that is metal you want to bring some fire in right now some twinkle lights some christmas lights okay um crystal right bring in these elements all right yeah now for air we want to open up the space and clear it out. So remove the clutter. So when you first walk in your door, a lot of homes have a coat tree or they throw all their shoes right there and you can just get in the door. So my suggestion is open up the space, okay, inside and outside your entranceways, okay, by clearing the shoes. And if there's a coat tree there, push it back a few inches away from the door, opening up more chi as much as possible. Um, and then when you look forward, what do you see? The moment you walk in your door, what do you see? All right. Is it clutter? Is it something bright and airy and uplifting? If not, let's change that today and bring in some balance because the first thing you see, okay, is the energy that fills that entire room, okay? So where your eyes go, the energy flow is, okay? Now think about company coming over, okay? The first thing they do is walk in the door and they can smell, they can see, they can hear, right? So what sounds are you playing in your environment? Okay. Now, if you look on the video, what sounds do you think you would hear if you went out that 
window and stood on a balcony. What sounds would you hear in the morning? What sounds would you hear in the afternoon? What sounds would you hear at night? For each and every one of us, we would hear traffic, right? And in the morning, it would be less, but there'd be horns blowing, birds, right? Some animals making sounds, people talking, people laughing. There might be some music playing, right? Um, all these different sounds we would hear as well. That is also chi, all right? So think about positive chi sounds in your environment. What would they be, right? We want to bring in some uplifting sounds, we want to bring in some soothing sounds at night, right? In the morning, what sounds do you have in your environment, okay? Is it totally silent and you stare at a wall and drink your coffee and complain, right? We have those people. And then we have other ones that, you know, immediately get out of bed and start the coffee pot and hit the radio on or the TV. They got chi coming on immediately, the minute they're up, right? The coffee is their chi as well. <laughs> it's a fire energy for your body. It lifts you up, right? It motivates your body. It's like, let's go, right? With the flow of positivity. And that's why we're here, all right? We are not here to sit down with our heads hanging low, right? We are here to get up, get on our feet, take some action and do something different, right? We want to exchange positive energy with everybody and everything we come in contact with every single day, all right? So when you look in that mirror today and tomorrow, I want you to see your energy, right? I want you to see that you are an energetic frequency. Now, what energetic frequency do you want to be today? You decide for you. I've decided for me, right? And I am a manifester. And I decided to manifest, right? Something wonderful for me. And the energy exchanged with me because I was like, it is time for me to take a break, okay? And I had um, looked online how much it would be a night. And I said, that's fine with me. Okay. When I made the phone call, the universe gifted me. Okay. With two free nights for me. Okay. Wonderful. Very quiet, relaxing room. Right. <laughs> Beautiful bed that I got to choose because of the pandemic. Okay. People are willing to gift us. So I want you to take advantage of that. Okay in different areas, okay? And be a gifter as well. So if somebody has blessed your life, then be a blessing back to them, okay? Such as this channel, um, I'm doing um, my utmost here to motivate you and to assist you in getting you back on your feet. We have been through a long year. It's almost over. Okay, and we're going into a new year, which is a plus, and we're going to have to shift our energy to go into the next year, of course. We're going to have to shift our mindset out of last year's mindset energy, right? And all the things we were doing, okay, that were holding us back. Now, it's time to motivate. It's time to um, set up a plan, all right? and goals, all right? And I'm not talking about losing weight, not eating chocolate, and that kind of stuff. I'm talking about goals. What are your goals? What's your intention? What would you really love to experience? Let's have that. Let's see it. Let's be it. Let's do it, all right? Let's move that chi today. That's why you're here. Let's manifest you into your dream life state. I know that some of you are on your way there and um, 
Some of you are just beginning. Some of you don't know where to go, where to start. That's why you're here. So look at the picture again, okay? Would you like to be there where I am? Standing in this beautiful luxury hotel, okay? Free of charge now, manifested, okay? Um, with a beautiful lush green plant right by your side. So you have oxygen coming in the room as well. Um, healing green, right? Beautiful. Looking out the window and saying, wow, okay? I can go out there today and take a beautiful vacation out into a beautiful place, okay, of the unknown. And I like the unknown. I don't know about you. A lot of people like to have the same life in the everyday doldrum to me, doldrum. I am a five energy and I must, you know, shift, okay? So I could be here doing this right now. 10 minutes later, I'm at the beach. Um, five minutes after that, I am somewhere else doing something more uh, fantastic, okay? So I don't like um, stagnation. I do not enjoy it. Um, I don't enjoy being around negative people. I will um, leave. I will shut the door. I will stop their conversation real quick. Uh, you will notice that on my calls. I um, ship the people right out of their sadness into gladness real quick. That's part of my gift. Um, the energy that I have inside of me, it's spontaneous, okay? And it flows wherever it needs to be. So the energy today is calling me to enjoy my day. The sun is shining. It's a little brisk out there, but that's okay. That wakes me up, all right? So um, heat will uh, make you tired, right? So it's a good thing to have balance. So the balance in your life, okay? Where are you out of balance? What's out of balance in your life? Uh, take a note of that, okay? And bring it to a session with me, all right? So we can get it into balance because even your emotions are to be feng shui, okay? Um, your money, feng shui. Your health, feng shui. Your relationships need to be feng shui. Your home, of course, needs to be feng shui outside then in. Each and every room needs to have a balance, okay? But also, we need to deal with the yearly stars and the monthly stars, okay? A lot of people just set you up for the year, and that's it. That's as far as they'll go, all right? They do not set up a monthly chart for you, and they do not set up your specific chart where your special um, energy fields are for you and where not to be and where to be, okay? Especially coming up in a new year. We want our lives in harmony, balance, okay? And in flow with the positive energy. Of course, you'll run into some snags. We all do. Um, it's a part of our lives. So that trains us, makes us stronger, right? Makes us live longer when you are setting a goal. You also need to set some boundaries, okay? And speak up for yourself. That's chi, all right? So, you are in the energy today to manifest your dream life. What dream life are you going to begin manifesting right now? I want you to write that down. All right. If you're still in confusion, it's time to come out of that chi and flow into the positive chi because inside of you, you know exactly what kind of life you want to be living. All right. And what is stopping you, right? definitely do all right and you're out of harmony out of balance okay in some area in your life what area is that what area in your life would you like to bring into harmony and you need to come into harmony with that that frequency that chi that flow that energy that vibration so bring it to a session with me. I'm going to be uh, going live on December 29th 
okay, on the Awakening Heart Network, and we are going to be shifting timelines. We're going to be talking about our ancestral timelines, okay, and how to shift out of that, okay, and into a more abundant, radiant life. And that's where we're going. We're heading into a more abundant, radiant, grounded, supported life. Now, some people may take a little longer, and that's okay, all right? Because everybody is on a different level. And some people are, like I said, they like routine. They don't like change. And the universe has changed every one of us. Because, like I just said, some people don't like change. They need to be moved into it, all right? They need to be pushed into it, all right? So that's where we all just went through, all right? And we're seeing the ends um, coming to it now, okay? And so you be a part of the change in your life, okay? You support you, okay? Um, you notice that other people are weak and they cannot support you, okay? And that's what you've been calling out for some of you saying, why right? Mm -hmm. And we don't need to finish the sentence. Um, but you know what I'm talking about, right? And where were they when mm, fill in the blank, right? And you're angry. So we need to get rid of anger. There's so much anger on the planet. All right. Anger is negative chi. All right. It's a fire energy. It's red. It's burning. It's festering. And you can see it. So if there's too much of that in your home, all right, we got to level that out and balance it out. We got to bring in some water, right, to put out that fire. So I know myself, I'll tell you this, I am a water sign, right? And <clears throat> I made the mistake of marrying a fire sign. Guess what that brought, right? Mm, it was like a war right? There was no balance there whatsoever, all right? And the fire was constantly trying to burn me, and I would put the fire out, okay? And so it was like two heads banging together. So be careful who you mingle with, all right? Um, and if you are with the opposite sign <clears throat> like that, where it's fire and water constantly um, bickering and fighting, then you have to first look at the feng shui in the house and then look at your energetic fields, all right, and see where you can bring in the balance and a harmony if you want to stay with that person, okay? Um, and tolerate. Sometimes people will tolerate um, stuff that they should not tolerate, okay? And I wasn't willing to tolerate, all right, some of the stuff. And, um, you know, some of you heard my story. Some know some of it. Um, even my family don't know all of it, right? Um, I was put through the ringer. I was put through hell. But in the meantime, okay, I had a plan, okay, of escape, right? A plan of freedom. And luckily, um, they were gone, like a couple days or nights a week, whatever. So I had freedom for a few nights, safety, um, peace, you know, and I could come and go and do what I wanted and not be controlled. So, you know, boundaries, set up a boundary this coming year of what you will tolerate and what you will not. So you have a little homework to do today and that's awesome for you. I have done my homework and I am supporting you here. So thank you so much for joining me on this beautiful day in this awesome energy of flow let's have more flow in your life let's light that christmas tree light those beautiful tea lights and you know salt lamps or whatever you want to do but make sure they're lit in the right sections of the space contact me i have a feng shui package for you i will also give you tips uh, for this coming year as well, all right, as my gift for you purchasing the Feng Shui package. Also, don't forget to 
Um, join me on the Awakening Heart Network, December 29th at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And be there, okay? Um, you will not want to miss what we're going to be talking about, all right? So thank you so much. Have an awesome day. I know you will. Look at the video one more time. Take it all in, okay? Get in the flow right now of being there with me and let's manifest that trip for you all right yes let's see what happens for you today and let me know all right go underneath the video and subscribe to this beautiful channel watch the other videos they're really interesting some are really fun um and all right go in the description box visit this website here the 123 manifested.com also, go check out my brand new website at audibleangels.com, all right? The link is underneath the video, and it will get you there directly. So, thank you so, so very much. Have a beautiful, beautiful day, and a Merry Christmas, and an awesome Happy New Year. Thank you so much. Blessings.